Perseverance recently collected one of its most important rock samples in the search for ancient microbial life on Mars. But thanks to the mess it left on the sample tube, Perseverance literally can't seal the deal to prepare it for return to Earth on this episode of Mars Guy. Collecting rock samples with a robot on another world is hard. It's even more difficult when the samples are intended for return to Earth. That's because the first priority is to ensure that whatever's in those sample tubes can't contaminate Earth. It's called planetary protection, and NASA and all other space agencies take it very seriously. What that means for Perseverance is that the samples it collects have to be sealed in airtight sample tubes. The design uses a cap referred to as a hermetic seal assembly that slides into the tube and is then expanded with up to 5,000 pounds of force. Basically, the tube is sealed by jamming a very high-tech cap into it. Which brings us to the latest sample. Here's Mars Guy for scale. This rock has been significantly altered by water sometime after it formed, as evident from the identification of the mineral serpentine by instruments on Perseverance. As I noted in previous episodes, there's a lot of excitement about finding a serpentine-rich rock on Mars, because on Earth, this can be the result of a process called serpentinization, which can lead to habitable conditions for microbial life. It's not clear if that's what happened here, and the identification of serpentine certainly is not evidence for life. But Perseverance did look for organic matter, the stuff of life. We learned this week that the unprecedented use of the facility contact sensor to flatten the little pile of drill tailings was part of an effort to look for organics. Organic molecules exposed to the intense UV light and radiation at the surface of Mars are easily broken down, but any that are in a rock a few centimeters down have a better chance of survival. So the tailings pile could reveal evidence of organic matter to the Sherlock instrument if there's any present. The measurements were successful, but there's been no report of what was found. Getting a sample of this rock back to labs on Earth is the only way to fully investigate its origin, its interaction with water, and whether it contains any evidence of life. Perseverance collected a core sample that appeared to overfill the tube contained inside the drill bit. Fortunately, once brought on board, it was pressed down into the tube, otherwise it couldn't be sealed. But the rock is so soft that it left behind powder and coarse grains at the top of the tube. The largest rock grain eventually fell off the tube, maybe as it was lower down in the vision station, but the rock powder remains. There was an attempt to insert a hermetic seal into the tube at one of the dispensers. You can see evidence of this attempt in the way dust was moved in the process. The shield at the bottom of the seal left its imprint in the dust. Apparently the dust impeded insertion of the seal enough to prevent its release from the dispenser. The engineers foresaw the potential for this scenario and equipped Perseverance with the bore sweeping tool to help clean off dust from the opening or bore of the tube. The first and only time this was used before was back in October of 2022 in a similar situation as the current one. In that case, repeated sweeping efforts appeared to have had little effect, so the sample tube was stored on board without a seal, and Perseverance continued on its way. It took more than five weeks before the troublesome tube was finally sealed after multiple attempts. This required using a different seal from one of the other seal dispensers. The same thing is happening now. Perseverance has driven away from its latest sampling location, completing two drives for more than 336 meters down the rim of Jezero Crater, with the unsealed sample tubes stored on board, and its fate in limbo.